Now I'm getting excited. An evening, if you're joining us internationally, I know we have a huge international audience. Everybody from London to Gay Perry, we are back. The office hours HQ. Remember HQ, Doug? HQ. Can I? Does that That's... ring a bell? HQ. Oh, HQ, Vic. H -Q. HQ. Like, what is it? What are we talking about? Hi the trivia. Horse quarters. The High trivia quality. game that yes. blew up the internet several years ago. No? Nope. Uh, wait, wait, it was, was like a live right game? game where you played. It was played a live a... game. Yeah. It was a revolutionary. <laughs> I don't know if it's still out there. But anyways, welcome back to me. Help and help and for Good morning to you, DJ Doug Pound. Hey. And <laughs> Cowboy Vic. Hello, everybody. Lonesome Cowboy Vic. Ride, didn't you ride? Ah. Lonesome Cowboy Vic. You got to. Yes, you got to read it. Get out of my way. <laughs> Little VU this morning, folks. Velvet Underground. Uh, we're going to be playing Velvet Underground later in the hour. Their new one. Velvet Underground has a new one out. <laughs> Excited to hear that. Who's the singer? Cause... Uh, Doug Yule. Doug Yule is back. Oh. Doug and Mo Tucker on drums, and then a couple of new guys, and of course <laughs> Captain Carlin is what here. You yeah. hurt your, your, hurt your, hurt your. Naturally, Captain hurt Carlin your. kept the Carlin. trains running on time and kept us uh, kept the show somewhat afloat throughout the uh, long summer tour. Did not sink. Did not sink. <laughs> Do they sing it again? There. <laughs> oh, Lord. And in studio, in the guest chair, reigning office hours champion. That's an awful thing to say. Yeah. Just very corny. Yeah. Very 20th century. I'm trying yeah. to be 21st century. We all can grow and we all can learn. Is Fred La Ar Amar Amaris Amaris. Amerson, Amerson, Fred Armisen is here from Saturday Night Live. When do you go back for the news? When do you go back? Because it's getting to be the fall. Tim. Are they doing less and less Tim. show? He's not happy. I guess the news came down this morning that they're switching things up there a little bit. But you had a great run. <laughs> Of course, Portlandia happened uh, 
<laughs> When's that coming back? I think is the question. Um, any any plans there for a stage version? Tim, <laughs> come on, man. No, we have some gotcha questions for Fred and a few surprises coming through that door in a few minutes. Some friends from your past. And you were in a like a, a were they were they white power the 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 group you were in? They were was yeah. it yeah yeah. But, but you were just the drummer. I was a drummer, and I didn't care what they were singing about. You didn't know, you know? what they were singing about. I didn't know or care, and it's just like I'm there to, to provide rhythm. You know? Right. <laughs> Time to hit the showers. What band was this? I think they were called White Powers. <laughs> yes. They were just called White Power. Wow. It was plural, the White Powers. Oh. oh. <laughs> then the White Stripes came around, yeah. and it was a mess. Yeah. <laughs> it eclipsed us. Well, this is basically, if you're just joining us for the first time, this is the show. This is not... There's not a monologue and sketches and everything. Do one. Do a monologue. Okay. <laughs> it is good to be here. Uh, let's see what's in the news. What's in the news, T? <laughs> a lot of things going on. We had the... Liz Cheney. Tr the Trump raid. Now, the Trump raid, uh, is this the bug spray they're talking about? Or what? I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. Woo! <laughs> uh, He's got his own brand of raid. It's... Yeah. That would be cool. Uh, a lot of things going on. Of course, the uh, Liz Cheney suffered <laughs> defeat really in Wyoming. Yeah. Why? Oh me! Uh, oh, <laughs> oh me! Oh me! She said. <laughs> so, a lot going on. Then at Mario Lago, you know, when I was a kid, I used to play with Mario Legos. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that's what these uh, ad writers. That's what these uh, they, they, comedy they writers are sitting around there yeah. all day long. <laughs> What, how much time do we have? We have an hour left before we got to go to the cue cards. All right, I guess we're going with Fred's Lego joke. Where are you from? Where are you from? Uh, on the show today, we have Fred Armisen. And that's it. I mean, what else do you want? Here's I saw, uh, <laughs> saw Fred last night. Yeah. Let's talk these, about that for a second. We went to the uh, Spin Me Round premiere. And Spin Me Round, as people may know, is the film <clears throat> film that Fred and I, amongst others, Aubrey Plaza, Alison Brie, Molly Shannon, Lauren Weedman, Lauren Weedman, Debbie Ryan, Zach Woods, Ben Sinclair, Hi Nickens, Trish Halfer, <laughs> Trish Halfer, directed by Jeff, Jeff Baina. Baina. Uh, big premiere last night in Hollywood at the London Round Hotel. It was yes. kind of confusing. Yeah. We were like, huh? We're like, do we get to stay here? Yeah. No. We're like, okay. Okay. I guess we'll just be going home after the premiere. <laughs> Driving all the way home. What are you playing? What is this? What is this side what show you've got going? What is that? Oh. Is it spin me around? Oh, is that dead or alive? Spin me around dead or alive oh. vocals only. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that, that is currently well, clogging comes up right the here. internet. <laughs> well done, Vic. Trump said, uh, <laughs> in regards to the nuclear secrets, he was he said, now they're, they're now clear. To be seen. Yeah. Instead of nuclear, they're now clear. Oh. So. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to let them out when they come. I'm not going to yeah. self edit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, what does the FBI stand for? Uh, well, you got something? <laughs> <laughs> Doug? Fred's basket say, yeah. of interest. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh, anyways, I'm not, I'm not going to linger on that. Let's take a zoomer real quick, and we'll get into all the good stuff. Jeff Baina, the director, is calling in. He is a lot of fun. Ah. He is. Yeah, he is. No, I mean... We had a great... We shot the whole thing in Italy. Yep. In Tuscany. This is like a very... It was a year later that now we are kind yeah. of... We had, it was almost like... And it was, it was very pandemic-y times when we were there. Yeah, we were... Uh, it, was, it was this little golden period of time where the pandemic felt it wasn't... <laughs> crazy, like you we weren't super scared to do things, but they hadn't let the tourists back in yet. Right. So we would go to all the sites and go out to dinner and there was never, you know, normally in the summer, Italy is, it's mob. It's like Disneyland yeah. everywhere or Disney World. Oh. Yeah. So oh. 
Oh, wait, wait, let's you know, see. Uh, oh, sorry. I did this little. I did the red carpet last night. You yeah. did the red carpet. Yeah. And I wasn't. I I always do this. I get I get swept into it like I'm on a ri river, like a white rapids. What words were on it? Say again. He means like red. R e a d. Oh. Ooh. Clever stuff. From the king of clever. <laughs> That's your new nickname. The king I'm trying of to clever. keep up with your jokes. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't thinking, <laughs> oh shit, I'm gonna actually have to interview. I'm gonna act, people are gonna be asking me questions about yeah, this movie that. that we shot a year ago and I had seen rec you know, a few months ago, but I couldn't, they asked me what my character's name was, blanked. Do you know now? Yeah. What is it? Now? <laughs> <laughs> Fr uh, Fran. Fran, right. Yeah. I, Fran. I forgot my character's name already. And, and then the, I was wearing this very nice, Sort of an athletic T-shirt. Yeah, it was a little bit of a dress-down yeah. premiere situation. Yeah, Summer. yeah. It was casual. I felt good, and but I get out on the red carpet. And I got my sunglasses on my yeah shirt. Yeah, I look stupid. I look like. Did you not realize it was on? No, nobody's looking at. No one's looking out for me. <laughs> They're the worst. I mean, this is such yeah. bullshit to complain about. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look over here. Look here. Yeah. <laughs> And then I've, I have no other expression but this. Yeah. Hey, I'm like Dylan. <laughs> want to check in on the uh, on our Zoom friends? Yeah, no one wants to hear about me complaining about red carpets. <laughs> they could take those glasses out now, though, right? Like Absolutely. You could, you could What's it called? Photo? It? Photoshop? Yeah, there it is. Colin Kovac <laughs> has Colin. a topic. Colin. Hey, Tim. Hey, hey Colin. Me? Speak it. That's funny. He's no, named Colin, and he's calling in. That's kind of cute. No, I like that. That's great. <laughs> Tickling each other's fancies. Hey, first time caller, long time listener, uh, huge fan <laughs> of you guys. Um, no reply got... from us, but go ahead. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> just getting over uh, COVID. Nice. Um, putting my two weeks in tomorrow. For COVID? Uh, <laughs> any advice, any tips, any what, stories? What, I don't, how can I give advice? I have no intel. I need to know what you're quitting. Okay. Uh, like an engineering type job? Well, find another train to run. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it, that work. You don't find a train. <laughs> sure. I don't see think those he's a train engineer by. necessarily. I don't okay. think he means train. Yeah, as long as you're giving your two weeks, that's you know, that's all you're you owe them to do. So that's that's good. You, you're giving. I feel them... bad because it, it, it's been um, like they took like forever to train me, and uh, that's okay. They knew like, they knew the risk. A long time. That's all right. Yeah, they, yeah, of course. And like to them, they're not like this is taking forever to train. Yeah, it, to them, the they're process. just like this is what we do. So you're saying goodbye to this. Are you staying in the field of engineering? Yeah, yeah. I am. Did you find a new I'm gig? I'm getting like a much better job too. Oh, look at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody's going to be making the money. I uh, had I had COVID in March in England. Oof. And blood was shooting out of my eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Shooting. That's how shooting out. <laughs> I, did you see anybody? Not those British doctors though. They're not going to do anything. Um <laughs> <laughs> I was walking down. Did you say the British, the British doctors aren't going to do anything? <laughs> oh, don't know about that. Oh, you got I'll, blood I'll, coming out of your eye. I'll be on my way. Nope. Yeah. Nope. I'll put a little bit of, uh, get a tea towel. Goodbye. Yeah. Get a tea towel and put <laughs> it right over the I eye. I visited, that's it. That's all you get. That's what your body wants to do. <laughs> so that's what you're going to do. Naya. Now listen. Why? Speaking of engineers. Just a week or so ago, I'm in Boulder, Colorado, walking down this... Have you ever been to Boulder, Colorado? Yeah, it's, I've been there. i tell you what, Fred. We're on the bus. Maybe I told this. I don't think I did. We are coming... Where were we coming from before Boulder? Can you even... Maybe... Maybe uh, uh, Iowa. Was it Texas? Iowa. I don't know. But anyway, we get... We pull into Boulder, and it's 10 a.m. or something like that. I get up, get out of, get out of the bus. I walk out. I go... I think we, I think the bus crashed and we're in heaven because it was like, it was like Disneyland, Main Street, pretty beautiful yeah, mountains yeah. in the background. The, the air is Nobody, all yeah, air is beautiful. Know. No one's out. A yeah. couple people. Hello, good morning to you. Yeah. Top of the morning. Yeah. There's a there's a like a sign on this brick wall that says <laughs> you are in your happy place. Like yeah. big sign. I'm like, 
This is uh, unbelievable. I went into the Village Green Preservation uh, Weed dispensary. dispensary. Two little old ladies in there talked to me. Like they gave me some nice. She's like, "This is every morning. I put one of these packets in my coffee, and it's like it was amazing. Sold me on so but many cool things." I say this only because I'm walking down the street <laughs> later in the day, and there's there's a bunch of those people that are trying to get you to sign up for children care or whatever, yeah. some Greenpeace or whatever. And I hear this little conversation. Oh, oh, I'm in school, this woman says. The guy says, oh, what are you studying? Uh, engineering. He goes, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just, that was enough. Yeah. That's um, amazing. Anything. Yeah, anything would have gotten that <laughs> We're response. glad you're doing something. Uh, well, congratulations. What do you want advice from? It seems like you have it all figured out there, Colin. He wants Sorry, to, I thought we it, were done you're, with Colin. Colin, you're saying it's tough to put your two weeks in because you feel bad about it and you need Oh, you're not, you haven't done it. To, you're doing that today? I'm doing that tomorrow. Okay. But, Do it today. Uh, how long, how long were you the at the off. Yeah. How long were you working there? Well, I'm home with COVID, so I oh. can't. Call it in. Like, Text unless it. Unless I want to email them, but. Yeah. Uh, Colin, you're going to have to. How long were you working there? Um, Like two and a half years. You paid your dues. You're fine. I'm of this opinion. Okay. If you have bad news to give, I think a, an email or a text is better than a phone call. Sure. It's like, here it is. Take, yeah, Take react. this and, and re, have your own reaction to this. Yeah. And then let's, let's talk once you've had a chance to. Grandpa's dead. Call me when you can talk about it. <laughs> well, Grandpa was not doing well. This is no surprise. <laughs> Grandpa was perfect health. And... <laughs> Maybe not that, Doug. I don't know. But if it's things that aren't like traumatic but it's sort of just like, hey, we're, we're not moving forward with something. or you You're know. dumped. Call me later. You're dumped. <laughs> I don't know, Sam. You know, you can also you put two weeks in on a relationship? That's not very You're... personal, and I, I don't think... <laughs> I think people may be like, hmm, this is, he doesn't really care that much about my Well, opinion. but don't he, you understand there's a follow-up? He doesn't want to do it like face-to-face -face or voice-to-voice. -voice. No, because I want, like Fred said, I want to give them their own private time to absorb that information. <laughs> oh, so it's for them. And he, and, and he could and actually me. address that in the email. Like, I know this is an email. We'll talk after. Yeah, I just yeah, wanted that to, like, could, that could be don't it. you yeah, get uh, it? Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> you know. Depends on the just, project, though. I, I have this, like, feeling that when I tell them, they're gonna like snap or something and attack me immediately. Well, what no. have you done that is worth <laughs> well, attacking? Well, you, just, you like, should definitely. Do you quit. have yeah. skeletons your, in your closet at work? Do you have things you're afraid of? No, I don't think so. They're you know, not gonna. They're, they're, it's part of whatever business they're running. Yeah, they. they, they know you think you're the first. You're them. not the first person to give two weeks notice. I'm sure That's they've true. given notice in you know tons of jobs that they've had. It's it's part of life. It'll be okay. It is a really small company. There's like, but I think before me, they've only had like two or three more employees ever. Well, so, I don't know. Everybody's but, replaceable, I think. Even like Fred okay. over here, Sarah yeah. Squirm took his job. Look at what happened. Yeah, yes. Sarah Squirm. <laughs> she came right in. Man, yeah. No, no. Yeah, she they did not care. They were like, right boom. Yeah. You know out. what? You can make You're it out, funny. Fred. You know that movie, Nine and a Half Weeks? No. You could uh, like Photoshop you, it just to say two and say figure it out. <laughs> the, the subject the is figure it out. Man. And then it's that That's poster. Good, yeah. It says two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I once had this job in <laughs> New York before anything was going on in New York. You know, back before, yeah, yeah. Not back before New York became a thing. Yeah, yeah. But you know? it was just like, it was like Philadelphia. Yeah. yeah. No, I had this job and I was, I hated it. It was like an administrative job. I hated it. I was bad at it. I generally didn't do what I was supposed to do. I kind of just like, pretended I was doing stuff. And there was this one uh, spreadsheet that I was supposed to be updating all the time and filling in and keeping up to date. And uh, I was, had been working there a couple years and I went on vacation to Mexico and I was like, and this is before we had self, cell phones and I wasn't checking my email. And I was like gone for like a week and then I went into this internet cafe. Email. Like I should probably check, check my emails and see what's going on. <laughs> I got this email from my boss where the fuck is all this? I just, you, what are you, what have you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> just like, you know, I had nothing to, not, I had, oh, let me, I'll, when I get back, I'm going to dive into this and figure out the problem. <laughs> that day, in, like, triggered a uh, anxiety about, like, opening an email, like, like, checking email. Like, yeah. uh, there's going to be bad news. As yeah. soon as this show's over, I'm getting something I can't, yeah, something, yeah. some stressful thing. Yeah. Before that, I was I was like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden before the snake showed up. Paradise. 
Remember jobs where like your boss was, you're just like, that's not my problem. It was just such a distant, like, I don't care. Oh, yeah. I, I treated that job as a mail room for myself where I yeah, would just go yeah. and, and send Tim and Eric DVDs to <laughs> yeah. Judd Apatow or whoever. I, I remember being scared to quit a job. And look, in hindsight, I'm like, why do I, these overlords, screw these guys. Mm -hmm. They're... Somebody was telling me about, maybe it was JP about, I can't remember who we were observing, but there was a guy doing a job. <laughs> And we're like, that guy does not go home and think about this job at all. No, no, yeah. I don't know, it was like a loader or something like that. Or some fucking, I don't know what it was. Listen, Colin, you've started the show off on a very negative note. <laughs> you know what you do? do give them some gifts, to any, you know what I'm saying? Send them a little, you know, some gifts. Edible like, arrangement. Or like a, an yeah. emergency, whatever, a backpack. Gift or like, card. Yeah, gift card, just like. $25 people, gift people card. People like gifts. So just, yeah, thank you for right. the opera. Here's what you say. Here's the email. Ready? Right. Start typing. <laughs> to all concerned. Act like you're typing. Dot, 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 at all. Uh, <laughs> there he goes. He's typing. <laughs> I want to be a singer. Unfortunately, I am in the... Uh, un I, this is how you should write it. If you do this, if you do this verbatim, you'll be my king. Unfortunately, I have the most unfortunate news to report through this email. <laughs> Period. My beautiful position at your work has now come to a conclusion. Therefore, in two weeks, I shall be departing for greener pastures, period. I'm Exclamation point. I'm sad as hell. You guys rule. I love you guys so much. Yeah. Oh my God, I had so much fun. And oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> but, call, me, call me immediately. But how crazy is life? Oh. I don't know, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> this job sucked, just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Of course it ruled. What uh, happened? And then how does my uh, IRA roll over? <laughs> can we please, and I really mean this, can we please be friends? That's more important to me than jobs. I'd rather hang out with you guys. And then, P.S., what have we been doing this whole time anyway? Hasn't everything been engineered already? <laughs> Can't we just copy-paste from other engineering <laughs> schematics? No one's gonna miss this company if it, go, if it disappears. And you know that, and I know that. Let's please go eat, please. Let's just have let's a meal. Let's, let's have lunch. <laughs> let's go eat. Let's not do the tired old thing of just getting lunch. Let's do dinner, I'm serious. I will cook. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, uh, all the best. I'm just, Colin. I'm just uh, I'm, I slept with your wife, <laughs> and I left an upper decker. <laughs> Doug. Oh my God. Just kidding. Ouch. Here are a few pictures of my dong. <laughs> Here's uh, four pictures. Guess which penis is mine? <laughs> you had to go blue, huh? I was trying to keep it clean today. I'm disabling this email. I'll, I'll write to you from another one soon. I swear to God I will. Send that and then immediately set to an out of office reply so people can. <laughs> <laughs> said it, and they didn't even respond to it. Do you know people who have the out of office reply on every time they like I hate go, oh, man. stop, I don't care. It's like, get over yourself. I'm not expecting an email right away. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just an email. <laughs> yeah. Leave it. It's I not, get it. I hate also, and I got in trouble for this. I hate people right back, I'm on it. Or I'm working on oh, that. Yeah, yeah, I will yeah. get back to you. Yeah. Like, don't write that. It's a waste. But I people, also, I, I think there are people in the other side of that who have bosses who are like, I want to know that you received that. Uh, I, I'm also not crazy about thanks. Like, thanks! Yeah. <laughs> what am I supposed to uh, You got mail. <laughs> Do you feel, here's a good question. I have a fun little mini story that I think is okay to say. Uh, I got my New York shows coming next week. The Bell House sold out. But there's a couple list spots. Oh, Matt, I want to give away some tickets today. I love it. And, uh, you know my, my David Byrne story. Yes. Everybody oh. knows. Yeah. <laughs> I worked with him, highlight of my life, and then uh, he didn't recognize me at an after show. People that know the show can look it up. I'm not going to go through it. <laughs> I say, you know what? I'm going to send him an email. Yeah. Invite him to the show next week. Great. He writes back right away. Tim, I, uh, I'm not going to be in town. I'm doing this immersive theater project in Denver till September. So go see that if you're in Denver. 
email. But uh, I saw you on tour, damn, and, and the Bell House is great. And I, I mean, what that, a nice, what a nice thing. Now, <laughs> Man, I did not reply to that email. You did the right thing. Thank you. <laughs> Leave it. Like, what, like what am I going to say? Ah, oh, too bad, or uh, no, thanks for the you're reply. you're doing him a favor. It's like... Yeah, you, but I don't want to feel like it's just sort of like I just walked away. <laughs> just no, ghosted no, him. No, he won't feel that way. No, I don't think he will. But it was a triumph. Uh -huh. That's Get great. that email. I mean, yeah. I don't want him there anyway, you know what I mean? Like, David David Burns in the audience, good luck. Oh. Life's tough, man. He's going to be talking. <laughs> He's, his head will be talking and trying to... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How about a little city of the day, guys? City of the day. <laughs> city of the day. <laughs> City Chicago, of the day Chicago. is brought up, but he doesn't know, he only knows uh, Chicago. Los Angeles, Bur uh, Burbank, because they filmed it, uh, uh, New York City. Go ahead. That's it. Oh. Oh, I, I stopped it. The okay. City of the Day is brought to you today by hmm. Hey, Hey, Hey for Horsemen. No, it's Yay, Hey. Yay, Hey, Hey for Horsemen. <laughs> Don't you wish you could eat some yummy hay like a horse? <laughs> Do, now, well, now you can with yay hey hey for horsemen. Anyone's a horseman with yay hey. Yay hey is specifically grown so the human <laughs> small and large intestines can digest it. What's the best part of yay hey, you ask? It's the chewing. It takes four times as long to chew yay hey as it does a burnt steak, so you can take an extra long lunch and blame it on the yay hey. If the boss complains, oh, it's a good timely conversation here. If the boss complains, just tell him, sorry, sir, I'm a horseman now. <clears throat> Plus, you can poo yay hay like a horse. Just drop it on the street, no wiping needed. Uh, horses don't wipe, and you don't need to either. It behooves you to order now, because office hours horsemen gets a free bale of hay yay with their first order. Just call 1-800-YAY-HAY-YAY and tell them Doug sent you. Yeah, he did. Now hit your music. Yay, hey, hey, for horsemen, yay. It's a horseman tree, it's a horseman tree. It takes really long to chew, but you're gonna love every bite. You're gonna love every bite. Wow. Now, wouldn't a horseman be a person that rides on a horse? Not necessarily, not, a... not with yay hey. Horses. All right, mm -hmm. let's Nick, see. Nick I'm not Prado. commenting on this one. Nick Prado. Nick, what's the city of the day? Hey, guys, uh, the city of the day is Portland, Maine. Today. I love Port. Port. Portland, Maine. That's great. Great. Yeah. How's it going up there? It's good. It's Lobster cold. Lobster season? No. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Not that, no. <laughs> like hell it ain't. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're past that now. It's getting a little chilly now. So. Oh, is it getting chilly already? <clears throat> yeah. It's like mid-50s today. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. <clears throat> is there... Yeah. um? In Portland, Maine, there's like this little like weirdo shop. You know, like every town has like it's like kind of comic books, kind of records, yeah. and like there's this oddities. one like yeah, oddities. There's one like downtown. Yeah, strange it, Maine. Are you talking about? I think that's it. And they had cassettes that were really cool and stuff. And yeah, yeah, that place is awesome. Yeah, that place is great. Yeah, Tim and Eric were up in their Maine there a few years ago. Yeah, you ever see that show? Oh, uh, I did not. Why not? Don't you care? Not Don't you care? Not really. No, not really my thing, you know. Not I hear you. <laughs> Are you trying to call into another show? <laughs> oh hell no, man. <laughs> what do you do for work? I am a Thank musician, you. actually. I'm a I'm a student in uh, Boston, going to music school. Oh, so you're home home with the folks for the for the summer? Yeah, yeah. I'm pl I play in a wedding band during the summer, so I've been what doing instrument? That all, yeah. What's your instrument? I play guitar and then I do some keyboard. Oh yeah. Stuff. What uh? What music school you at? In Berkeley. It's gotta be I'm Berkeley. Like, yeah. There I'm you go. Berkeley, yeah. Whoa. That's where Vic Berger That's went. Where I live. I lived there four yeah. years. Is, are you in the dorms right there with Florian? No. Nah, oh, he's oh, at home. Oh. You, you the went dorm. to Berkeley, really? I did. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Can we get the top three to five wedding songs you play at a wedding? Wait, I would. I okay. would. Can we guess them? Can we guess it? Sure, um, we can. Groove is in the heart. <laughs> Yes, that's a good no, one. No, I got. I know Wonderful what number tonight. one is. Celebrate by Cool in the Gang. Yeah. Wonderful tonight. Uh, tears no, in you're not doing celebrate. Tears in heaven. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh yeah. We oh, didn't yeah. guess the top five yet. We didn't even get uh, one. Yeah, How is? Oh, I know. It's uh, my world. Oh, get, journey. Is uh, it get lucky? Look out! No. That. No, that's a that's a no. That's on our no playlist. Oh, yeah. hey yeah. 
Ooh. Yeah, we do have, yeah. There you go, Fred. Now you're locked in. Suavemente. No. Rico Suave by... Oh, I love... By Gerardo. (laughs) Madonna Celebrate. Yeah, Ooh. we've done that once or twice. Not a top five, though. What about uh, uh, the Macarena? Oh. Uh, we've not done that one yet. Shuff- the shuffle slide, the... Uh, the, the uh, Electric slide. No, no, it's... Uh, uh, what the hell's the name of it? Bell Bottom Blues by Derek and the Dominoes. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Trouser what? Minnow oh, by sh- Rape Man? <laughs> nope. Something off of one of Rick Wakeman's solo albums. <laughs> no. <laughs> Turnaround by Yes. Soundtrack to Tron. Uh, yeah, in its entirety. Uh, Something off of Tusk by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Is it Tusk? No. Uh, Taurus. <laughs> Targus. That's no, Targus, right? Hey, yeah, Jude. Tusk is uh, Fleetwood Mac. Ooh, Hey Jude. <laughs> yeah, we've done that. Bill Haley in the comments. Rock Around the Clock. Should we let Jeff Bain away in on that? Touch of Grey. 433 by John Cage. <laughs> What? <laughs> this is stressful. I can't. White light, white heat by the Velvet Underground. <laughs> Sister Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's bring in. Yeah, thank we, you for the city of the day. Have a great rest oh, of the wait, summer. Wait, wait. What are the top five? What are the top five? Yeah, top five. It. All right. Top five. We got Don't Stop Believing. That's of what course. I was trying to say with Journey. Oh, was, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. The one. Okay. Yeah. Well, you were on yeah. quite a journey there, Doug. <laughs> yeah. We got uh, Wagon Wheel, Darius Rucker. Oh, what? Wow. Isn't that a uh, Ryan Adams song? Is no, the, the guy Ryan from, Adams no, he's, the Hootie from Blowfish. Blowfish. No, but is it originally a, a Ryan Adams song? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Thank yeah. you. No, no. It's a lot of country stuff. Um, we got um, Do a Little Dance, Make a Little Love, Get Down Tonight. Uh, right. That's cool that's in the game. No, 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 it's... Yeah, um, uh, uh, it's uh, Casey, Casey and the Sunshine. Casey and the Sunshine. Uh, sorry, band. sorry. Yeah. Love them. And then... Uh, Big one to close it off is Rick House. Uh, Ooh, <laughs> not Rick House. We've done uh, uh, Rocket Man. It's been mm, a big hit. Really? Oh, that's become a big hit again. Somebody did a cover of it that it, that is uh, wow. blowing up the charts. Do you do that solo in Don't Rocket Stop Man. Believing? That one that speeds yeah. up. Yeah. Which yeah, one? Do the solo in the beginning of um. It's not even a solo. It's just in the beginning of Don't Stop Believing. Yeah, I oh, kind of yeah. faked my way through it and use a bunch of like delay and stuff on it, but Dude. I get through it. Delay, digital delay okay, has been my man. friend on tour. Friend on Put tour. that thing on. That thing on. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Put that thing on. All right, here's your new, your new, <laughs> new, 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 your new, new chunk new. is impersonating <laughs> <laughs> different okay, pedals. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> you got the digital Oh my god, delay. is this flanger? Okay. Is this a flanger? <laughs> Distortion. <laughs> That's stuck. That can you do reverb? You think you could? Reverb. I could do a little bit of reverb. But... Reverb. <laughs> I think so. Reverb. Wow, that is a good bit. A uh, tone shifter. So, how's it? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do How sounds of guitar. Can you do wah Why think wah Why could try? Why could try? Right? Compressor. I think I could do it. Yeah. So. <laughs> sure, sure, I could do a compressor. Limiter. I think so. Yeah. Harmonizer. No. The overtones. You could probably do that. What God, that is such a good thing for stand-up. I know. <laughs> Pedal impressions. I can't do chorus though. How would that be? It's impossible. Yeah. You just have a chorus have to, pedal there and just yeah, and just cheat. do it. Yeah. Run, That'd be the one well, cheat. The, no, you could spin the, the mic. The oh, oh yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, let's bring in the director, writer, director. Thanks, Nick. Of thanks, Nick. Nick, Nick. He didn't respond. Good. He oh, just here's said Jeff. That. Can you unmute him? Lucky Berkeley. Side? There he is. Find a planet for yes. after. Rocket. Man. Where's Jeff? There he I'm is. Right Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. There we we go. got Fred Armisen here, and the hey, rest. Fred. Hi, Jeff. How, how hey, are you Rob. feeling today? You had a you have a late one last night. A little bit, yeah. We we pretty much closed it out last night. Really? Nice. That's yeah. I, I, I It hit the 10 o'clock hour, and I said, I'm out. Good night. I know. Folks. I cannot keep doing this, talking to people. I got a big show this morning. <laughs> are you are you happy with how it, all, how it all went? Yeah, I think it was great. I mean, I wasn't in there when it was showing, but... Why did you cut was... all the Fred... Like, you, I mean, there was a lot of... 
<laughs> You're in the movie. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, yeah. I mean, big scenes, yeah, big long monologues. Yeah, big. Well, it's pretty funny, and I just thought it was like you know we should keep it all for the blooper reel, so we just cut all the scenes out you know, Damn it. for later. Yeah. But yeah. there are some good moments that I thought would have been you would have sh- sh- you know it would have been great to see in the movie, but it was. I not grew there. up big yeah. beard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the story suffered because it was like just empty spots. But I think it's better without him. Yeah, I gotta take it. Fred, yeah. of course, uh, went to the premiere. Did not see the movie though. <laughs> so that, that's a new movie. No, no movies. <laughs> I, I can't. Handle you get movies. sick at movies. I get so sick <laughs> so at movies. So much movies. moving going on. <laughs> it's and also I, be, I always believe it. I'm like, who are these people? I'm like, <laughs> what happened? You get seasick. I guess. Yeah, I'm like. I, <laughs> Can't. Motion sickness, all that moving yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And all the time jumps, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. The next day? Yeah. I can't be here. Uh, Jeff, you yeah. you made this movie under under duress because it's yeah. not easy to do to make these movies. No. First of all, you're going over to Italy. It's the pandemic. You've probably got mm-hmm. $25 to make this thing with. You didn't mm-hmm. give you a lot of money to make this movie. Mm-mm. Why did you do it? That's the question I want to get at. Why? Why do you Why? make these movies? Why? What? Who do you think you are? This is big man know. at home. <laughs> oh, I can make a mud Scorsese. I'm gonna add one more movie. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think we've had enough of the movies? Huh? <laughs> Why don't you go back uh, to doing TikToks and whatnot? <laughs> no. Where did it come from? Why make this movie? Well. I made them, you know, I, I made another movie in Italy back in like 2016. And the Little Hours, Fred, great movie. With Fred. Mm-hmm. And had such a great time and loved working with Fred. And I read this article that I thought was like a funny sort of setup for a movie about these people at Olive Garden who were the managers and went to this Olive Garden Institute program. Are you allowed to and say was, that, Jeff? I think at this point, who cares? Okay. Because that, that was the yeah. that was told to us that we can't say Olive Garden specifically, but a chain, an Italian. Well, the article. Well, I, <laughs> well, we could edit yeah. it. This is not going live, is it? Uh, <laughs> live. <laughs> no, I think I think the cat's out of the bag. I mean, like the article is about Olive Garden. I mean, the movie's not Olive Garden. It's Tuscan right. Grove. But yeah, it's the, the, these managers went to the Olive Garden Institute and were supposed to learn about food, wine, and culture, and they thought they were going to stay in the villa that was on their website, and it was like a. <laughs> disaster they're staying in a dorm and they didn't go anywhere and they felt trapped and like the chef de cuisine made a bolognese for them and that was like literally it and they went <laughs> home and it was basically just like a photo op for all garden yeah so i thought that was a pretty funny setup and then obviously like kind of ran with it yeah no it's a great it sucks it's a great setup <laughs> um and then how did i come into your head i mean because that's what we want to know is where you go like I know Jeff. I've, I, it's been years before the movie. You asked me to do the movie that I had seen you, but you said, "Huh? Who passed?" That's what I want to know. Who passed? <laughs> and honest and humble. And that's how you're supposed to be as an adult man. Someone um, passed on. Well, I've known you for like I think over 20 years now. Yeah. Uh, like you know, when you start hanging out in earnest, like I don't know, like. 12, 13 years ago with Battlestar Galactica board game shit. Yeah, don't, we don't want to talk about oh. that. I want people knowing oh. I'm doing that shit. <laughs> What's this I now? That. So, <laughs> well, I was, Wait, Tim, I dipped in and I, I like socializing. I don't like these board games so much, but somebody, one of our group, group friends, group friends, <laughs> he's like, hey, I got this game, it's Battlestar, and I loved that show, Battlestar Galactica. If you haven't seen that, that's like up there, top 10, five. Definitely. I love Batman. <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> I bring Jeff, we all start playing this game, Battlestar Galactica, where you're, it's like a strategy game, like Axis and Allies or something like that. And uh, the What's game, the most though, complicated board game in the universe? It's so and, like, complicated. It Dan yeah. Longino is the only one that knew the rules. Yeah. He basically <laughs> had to just like trust Either- him, but it was like, he was like a lawyer. It was kind of like a uh, like a mafia style game where somebody is a Cylon, and you have to decide figure out who's the Cylon. But then the game always boiled down to a game of dice. You know what I mean? Like it comes down to like, well, if I roll over a seven, I win. You know? Like, okay, let's just play dice. <laughs> Anyways, um, but there's a lot. I mean, the game was the most complicated game in the universe. And then you know, I we we were seeing each other a bunch. And then you know, I wrote this movie, and that part truly was just this idea and then Allison and I were just talking about like who could be cool and your name came up and 
I pitched you to the investor and he flipped out. And I was like, great. Like he was a fan. Up, and so I'm just <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> you got to be out of your fucking mind. What? Not we him, anybody what? but him. <laughs> Suddenly I'm like Marlon Brando in The Godfather when they're like, we're not working with him. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, financing fell out because of that. So we yeah. got into a big fight. And then I had to find another financer, got into the same fight. I eventually settled on someone who was willing to cash you. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Back I to just the, called you up. Back to the... Uh, yeah, you called me up as I was doing this show in April of last mm. year, or whenever it was, and uh, Jeff writes me says I got to talk to you about something big. Wow! <laughs> but um, back to Battlestar Galactica because somebody <laughs> in the movie is who plays Fred's wife in the movie is Trisha mm -hmm. Halford. Halford? Mm -hmm. Halford? Halford. 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 Who, if you know Battlestar Halford. Galactica, is seven of nine. Cap Caprica six. Oops. What is her name? Halbent. Caprica Six. She's she's one of the. I mean, it's not a secret. She's one of the Cylons. Dude, you fuck. Hey, spoiler! Oh. We're gonna throw out our DVDs. This show just can't be about talking about numbers. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> who, who's Seven of Nine? Is that from Star Trek or something? Like That's that? from like Babylon Five or Oops. Deep Star. Deep, deep Star deep Nine. Shit, it's Nine or something. Deep Six. Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah. she was in the movie, and the night she arrived. We geeked out. We were like, we got to just do this because we loved the show. And so we started talking to her. It was weird because she's so good in that show. And oy, oy, oy. we were. Yeah, like, it was funny because, like, of the entire cast, I feel like she was recognized almost more than anyone because she was in that Lucifer show, which I think yeah, was really yeah. busy in Italy. Yeah. Everywhere and we went, went, yeah. A Lucifer. Yeah. Please take a picture of <laughs> Lucifer. Yeah, from a Lucifer, from the devil. See? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, talk to me, talk to me. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think that one of the strongest things in the movie besides Molly Shannon and Aubrey Plaza and Alison Brie and Zach Woods and Fred and everybody is the music. Yeah. This movie is, and my audience in particular is going to appreciate this. Who scored the movie? Pino Donaggio. So, um, when I first came up with this idea, I kind of outlined it, and I always, in the back of my mind, was using Pino Donaggio's score for Body Double, especially the telescope part, um, as like the sort of idea of what I wanted to go for. And so the way it works in Italy, if you're shooting there, is you can get a tax credit. So basically like 40% of your budget just gets wiped away, which is incredible, especially for like a small budget film. And you need to have like one key person from Italy in order to qualify. And I'd already brought over all these Americans that you know, we're, we're all the key positions. So on a lark, I was just like, hey, maybe we can get Pino Donaggio to do it. Just thinking there's like no no shot. And he was like open to it. So I zoomed with him. And then after we all wrapped, like Allison and Aubrey and I drove up to Venice and had an afternoon with him, which was incredible. But How old is this he's guy? Like a, he, he turned 80 in November. Not that bad. Paul. Yeah, McCartney. very simple. Yeah, McCartney age. I don't have a done music. a school, you know. <laughs> yeah. I've but he's, you know, he's, yeah. he's spry for 80, you know. Yeah. Part. So um, what do we know but, him from Body Double? Well, he started off, there's a song called um, You Don't Have to Say You Love Me that Dusty Springfield sang in 1966. He did the original Italian version, so she yeah. covered it. And that, like, he was like a big time pop star in Italy. And he started off as a violinist. But then in, I think it was like 1971-ish, um, Nick Rogue asked him to do the score for Don't Look Now. Oh, that movie is insane. Lynch, wow. Julie Christie. Yeah, and like he had never done a score before, and that took place in Venice, and he's from Venice. Mm. So then he kind of like got into the score world, and Brian De Palma approached him for Carrie, and then he just basically did all Brian De Palma's movies wow. forever. He did a bunch of like Giallo movies. Did he do he did Untouchables? Like, I think he did Untouchables. I, I'm assuming. I I mean, I don't know why he would all of a sudden not use him for that. I should see that again, because I remember not liking the score in that, because it's a period movie, and it's all these synths, and it just felt weird, but... I bet I now like as an actual with a like adult classes. brain, I would, I would. I'll tell Pino that you didn't like his score for Untouchables. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> the other person that's kind of behind the scenes that's kind of fun in this movie is the production designer who I got to see last uh -huh. night, um, Patrick. Patrick Lum. This guy, yeah. first of all, one of the nicest, Brit, a Brit. He's a Brit. Mm -hmm. He's a total little kind of chipper Brit. Does he live in Italy? He has a place in Luca. Basically, the, I, I, the, the 
to make a long story short, we were kind of like under the gun to find a production designer because there were two like unfortunate things that happened to the two production designers that were supposed to do it. And because of this COVID stuff and because it was in Italy, you need to get like a, a work visa that is four weeks in advance. And so we were kind of like, we had no time. It was like we were two weeks out and we had to find someone. And luckily we found Patrick who happened to have a residency in, oh, in wow. Luca. So he qualified as but an tell, Italian, Tell I guess. me the, the, the credits that this guy came with. Well, the main one people will probably know is the movie Valkyrie but with Tom Cruise where he's trying to kill Hitler. But he, he basically stopped doing movies because he just started doing, um, what do you call it, uh, commercials and was just like, kind of but didn't, didn't have anything he do else Batman? to prove. And was just, he did, yeah, he did the, the Dark Christopher Nolan. He did like Batman for like, you know, it's like Batman was shot in like Pittsburgh. And right, yeah, he did. Places. I love he did. He did one of the cities, but yeah, he did one of the Batman. This guy's credentials Batman's. are through the roof. Yeah. Yeah, he's incredible. And he saved our ass because he came in a couple of weeks out. You know, obviously we didn't have a crazy big budget and he was able to pull it off and he was the most sweet and outgoing and, and just like down person you've yeah, ever met. Yeah, he was so sweet. He was so sweet last night. Yeah. I, lo I love the movie actually. I thought it was really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, he's great. I mean, he's like, he's sort of also like a nomad. Like he, he was sort of based in LA, but now he doesn't really have a home outside of Luca, but just travels around the world and surfs kind of like Bodie and oh. uh, Point Break. Come on. Yeah. Well, I thank you for the experience. Uh, Goodbye. <laughs> Total weirdo. All right, thank you. Goodbye. Uh, bye. Yeah, yeah, bye. <laughs> no, I do thank you for making me. If it wasn't for this summer with my tour, it would have been the be one of the best summers of my life. But this tour just knocked last summer out of the park. Well, right. Up until then. Who's that Atlanta. behind you? Thank you, Tim. Aubrey, you want to say hi? Just say hi to me. Don't be so Just rude. Like She's like dropping off, like her stylist is picking up one of her outfits from last night. Well, just tell her second. to say hi. The crowd would go wild. Oh, yeah. Let me take this shit off. Just tell her it's fine. If Fred's here, it's a safe place. There's people Sefe, that. Fefe, yeah, like, Sefe, we'll be here in like 12 seconds. She's literally what? like engaging with her stylist. Our stylist is booting her. Hello. We're chilling. <laughs> stylist. Who was your stylist last night? Hello. Hello. Okay, have fun. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hello. Say hi to the Hello. audience. We're hi, live audience. on Zoom. How, did you mention me on Jimmy Kimmel Live last night? Hey, everyone. Um, honestly, I don't know because I, I like uh, I actually messed up on that show and I I forgot. No, actually, I did mention you. I didn't I? Did I, I not? Watch it. Are you trapping me? Cut it me? Up. Is this like some kind of weird trap? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the receipt. Let's see the receipt. Everybody. I all the names and then I didn't and then I said Aiden and I had like a brain freeze and didn't say her last name even though I know what her last name is but my brain kept wanting to say Minari I think that's yeah. right I think yeah. no, it's Mayari oh, and right. I kept Mary. Mary, and I kept thinking of the Rhymes. movie Minari and then I she um, would have been devastated if you blew that she would have been devastated that's... listen uh, I did the same thing with Ben Sinclair. I did an interview yesterday. I blanked on his name. I couldn't think of it at all. I couldn't think of my own character's name last night at the uh, red carpet. Amazing. Well, listen, let's let her go and let's let Jeff go because. Yeah, I'll text you. This no, phone. sorry. I'll, I know. I feel bad. Well, What's your phone I'll, number again, Aubrey? For Amber Star. <laughs> all right. All right, Jeff. Thanks for, thanks for uh, thanks, joining Jeff. us today. Thanks for having thanks us in the movie. movie. Thank Everybody you go being. see. Uh, uh, spin, spin me around, around on Friday tomorrow. On Friday, it'll be on demand on AMC Plus, which you have already because you're watching Better Call Saul, right? You're not watching it. It's gonna be in theaters. It's gonna be on AMC Plus. <laughs> sure. Tunes. It's gonna be on Amazon. It's gonna be on like the normal streaming platforms, but then some random ass cities across America. Yeah. Well, if you can go see it in the theater, go see it. This is not one of your typical Marvel movies that people can't get right. into. Right. This is not a right. bunch of superheroes and right. flying around. Right. Uh, and it's not raunchy. Nope. <laughs> it's not raunchy, thank God. <laughs> Just in fact. The There's no politics. Is this is right, this is wrong. None of that stuff. It's inspired by the Rossi music song, not the Dead or Alive song. Yeah, and you'll get it's oh. it's it's a it's just a it's just a weird. I think it's quirky. Yeah, it's quirky. It's quirky as hell. <laughs> I, I like stuff in other countries. It always looks cool. Yeah, and you're a, you've got a great eye for cinema, Jeff. Thanks, Tim, and you're you're a great actor. Thanks. And by the way, how fat am I in this movie? 
How fucking fat am Why I in this? Why are you saying that? You're not fat in the movie. Well, you're really are you nuts? In I look like I'm wearing a damn fat suit. Jim Honestly, I thought you looked so good in Italy. Everyone was always commenting on how it felt like you really came into yourself there. Uh, I just, it's true, you did say that, but I just fished, I just threw the bait out and got a big one. I big compliment that. from Aubrey. It took him a while to spin you around because you're so fat. No, <laughs> come on. I, cr I created my own moons surrounding me. Well, you know who. <laughs> All right, Jeff. You better go and uh, do a little damage control there. <laughs> Honey, she just put in her two weeks. Joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you, Jeff. Nice you to see, see you, go. Jeff. Bye, Aubrey. Ride, 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 ride. All right, stop with that. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually, do you know the song "Spin Me Round" by Roxy Music? What's it called? Spin, Spin Me Round. I should. That's the song they use in the movie, and oh. it's a. I I love Roxy Music. Yeah, that's I'm not afraid to admit it. Use that drop whenever yeah. you want. They're doing a, a reunion tour. I know. Dead or go? Alive is better. <laughs> Not to pick winners wow. and losers, but sorry. Really? Yeah, this is great. With the music All right. Um, How about the hotline? Yeah, we, we got to get to the hotline. Who's the singer today? for that? Uh, Brian Ferry. Can you believe Ferry. we've only been on the air for four minutes? Brian That's it. Four, in four that minutes. Just like the massive vibrato. Yeah, yeah. Brian Ferry. Yeah. No, his, his vibrato is like so Dracula. <laughs> Too much vibrato. Oh, I have the funniest little Paul McCartney joke for you. Now, Paul McCartney's famously left-handed, right? Yeah, when he yeah. plays, so he's like this. Yeah. But I was like, he's got it this way, like right-handed. Yeah. Well, this is actually a bit easier. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole time? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is actually easy. I can write me. a few songs now. Yeah, now I can actually move around, you know? Do a couple you know? of chords. I've been yeah. struggling with this way, you know? <laughs> I'm making it worse. Why don't show me? Yeah. Don't think about it too much. Kenzie, that'd be cool if he started playing like Primus all of a sudden. Totally different style. Yeah, I quite like doing it this way. I'm like Primus now. I sound like Primus. Yeah. Kenzie two one four, you're live on the hotline. I'm actually quite good on bass. Hi. Hello. You're on the air. No, no Primus drops, please. He's Wonderful. great. I cannot believe I am talking to my number one favorite pet pep in the whole world, fucking Tim goddamn Heidecker. Hello. Here I am. I'm, are you are you, I'm all ears. Thank you, Tim. Actually, just one ear, because I have the other ears don't have my headphones in. Yes. That's all right. Well, I really only need a quarter of an ear. Anyway, um, I just... Don't let him know. I am have been a long time listener and Tim and Eric like obsessed fan for like how many fucking years now. But also, uh, I just wanted to complain about my terrible life to you um, on the internet. Okay, we can do that for a couple of minutes. Let's make it go quickly. Great. So I what's going was, on? Uh, I got you know, I got a bunch of bees, Tim. With who? I got a bunch of bees. Uh, Make sure you keep it bees? keep it frozen. You need bees before you... or beef with an F? No bees, dude. Bees. But the good news is, I want bees. Ah, I oh. knew it. I knew it. Bees. Oh, oh bees. Oh, you're doing oh. talking about re oh. You're doing references to me <laughs> of my work. <laughs> like I want that in my life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. No, um, I don't. I don't really have anything to say. I just love you guys. And oh, I, thank you very much. Where are you calling uh, from? Uh, Boise, Idaho. Oh, wow. oh, that's a nice place. Did you? Were yeah. you there on your tour? Did you? Um, no, we did not hit Boise. Boise, Boise, Boise. That. Boise. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> was there a city of the day chosen? Or yes, it was fucking Maine. Portland, Maine, Maine okay. man. Oh right, that the was so long town. after. Okay, we could change it to Boise. Let's Idaho. go. Let's switch it to Boise. Sure. It's being switched switch. right now. Switch it. Yeah, come on, come on down to Boise, man. Come on up. All right. Well, thank you for the compliments. Cool. I'm glad Party's you're out so there. Hard. I'm glad you're doing well. I want you to stay healthy and happy. 
What's the point what? of Idaho? It's just like this thing hey, that they fade. Hey. You know, it's like oh, time just, out, man. Hey, what, what buddy. Do we the, need point of, the point of Idaho is to move the fuck away from it. Ooh. Oh, what about double. Twin Falls, okay. Idaho? That's supposed to be nice. Just make Oregon a little bit to the right. And well, that stupid little. You know, you got that. That little, little thing coming up is like, yeah. Get over Oregon it. Oregon is. Get over Oregon yourself. To the left. I don't. I don't know who taught you directions, but left. I meant right. Do, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait seriously though, not as a joke. Who did teach you directions? Yeah, really. Who's your directions teacher? Did you take directions in <laughs> elementary school? <laughs> it was the guy. My teacher's school. name was Lefty, which is the weird. Uh, oh yeah. Oh. Well, well, I know why he got into it. Lefty right side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lefty right side taught me directions, and I get what him is mixed he, up. Old blues of his name. guy. Um, <laughs> a lot of right Mormons. A lot of Mormons up there in uh, in uh, Idaho. Okay. Unfortunately, yes. A lot of Mormons, a, a lot of lack of uh, equal human rights. It's a great fucking time up here. I'm Thank sorry. You well, you got friends and you got a, con a nice group of people you like to be around? Of course I do. Yes. Um, the cherry on top of all this is I was recently in a car wreck yes. and I, I became disabled from that car wreck. And then I was fired from my job for becoming disabled. Which is super illegal. So now I'm in the middle of like a bunch of uh, lawsuits. It's a great time over here. Okay, well, don't say disabled. That's uh, that's inappropriate term. I'm not accepting that on the show. So you're canceled. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry that happened to you. Are you, you. You seem okay though. You're you're not on like a ventilator or anything. That's for sure. <laughs> no, and I gotta I gotta say. Um, Gotta stay cracking jokes about it, or else you die, gotta right? stay we positive. Gotta make fun of everything. Fred, exactly. you've been through so much trauma, <laughs> um, and I've you're been still in all kinds of all, 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 all kinds of car accidents. Yeah. All right. Well, listen. Take care. I hope things turn out for the best. Get well. Keep. Thank you, Pep Pep. I appreciate you. All right. Bye bye. Tim, I have a question for you. Bye. Finally. Quick, Tim. I, my, I'll make it really quick. Isn't it weird? That like when you're on this tour, it's like your name. Like, do you feel like when you wake up on the bus, you're like, oh, this whole everything here is. Maybe you don't feel weird. I about do that. It. I do feel that way. You're like, I'm gonna go get myself some breakfast, but you're like, oh, I'm like the guy. I know. I had a well, weird. You ever uh, freak out? Well, like, I did this a couple times. Yes, a couple times. Like it's not a band name. It it's hit like me. Your name. It hit me when I was like, I think it was not all the time, but in Providence, Rhode Island, it was some of these theaters have really nice marquees, you know, and like. Just classic looking yeah, yeah. theaters. And there was my name and not, it doesn't happen, it only happened then, but it just, I was like, that's, I sh that is weird. Yeah, cause. To see yeah. your name up. Well, you're the same way when you tour, it's just Fred yeah. Armisen. Yeah. But I also had this it's feeling, true. especially after the tour, a few days later, this just tremendous like, wow, all these Vic and the band wow. and JP, our tour manager and everybody, you know, they have their own interests. They're making money and, and yeah, it's a yeah. great experience for them, but they're also giving so much to me, giving their time and their energy to, not to me, but sort of because I'm doing this. You, haven't, you know what I mean? Was I grateful, oh, yeah, was I, I grateful yeah. enough? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> no, good, good amount no, of gratefulness? Was, no, How was, about that song I wrote for you all? It was at beautiful, the end? beautiful. What I a beautiful. Hope that's recorded, yeah. Huh? I, um, I had, but like, speaking of like the, the having your name on the marquee. Like when we got to Chicago, I walked in first thing in the morning and the stage manager stops me and he thought <laughs> I was you. He thought How I was he? the star. How could he? Oh, this is funny. Oh. I know he's so funny. This is a funny story. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't Maybe know. Maybe because that big yellow, one, but... your, your big yellow look. But yeah. Yeah. They I, thought I, I you were the had star. I this on. I had this hat on. Yeah. People were calling me boss like on the tour. It was nuts. Uh, like like uh, sarcastic. Yeah, I yeah. think so. <laughs> I, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, boss. <laughs> and, uh, I know, boss. Yeah. So then I, I walk in and, I, and the first thing you do when you get off the bus in the morning, you have to go to the bathroom. Number. Number, Deuce. you got to get your solids out. And this uh, stage lucky. Manager cornered me, and he thought I was you. And he's he's like apologizing to me 
about about the way the green room looked. You, I don't know if you went in earlier and well, let me tell you a sidebar. You know the Vic. Yeah. Wait, I know you're yeah, getting yeah. Mad. You oh, had anyway, to go yeah. and they're uh, talking so like, to your ear. He's off. like, he's like, you ever been here before? He's like, yeah. And all these people are like really nice to me. And I'm standing. He's like, why don't you just come over here, stand on the stage, and take it all in? And it's, I'm looking at this empty room, and I uh, just have to go to the bathroom uh, so bad. Impossible. It was yeah. Well, I, I went in. Of, yeah, it's, it's almost like a practical joke. They're like, they know you have to go. Yeah, like, yeah. Why don't you look at the Where stage? You, it's a, it's a, it's a, for a been while. Open for a long time. Yeah, it used to be a movie Fred, theater back in the day. Take it talking. in. We get into Chicago. <laughs> it's 9 a.m. I get off the bus to go do what Vic's talking about doing. And I am looking, really looking forward to the Vic. Because we've done many shows there. It's just a classic room. Beautiful place. People are super nice there. Yeah. It's very, it's like a warm hug for me, that place, in the middle of the tour. I go down the steps. I'm look, looking like Vic. I'm looking, yeah, good to be back. Go down the steps. Rip, dip, dip, dip. <laughs> oh, I fall down the steps. Get up. I'm fine. I go down in the hallway to the green room with all the dressing rooms inside. It's a full-on renovation happening in mid renovation <laughs> there's drywall there's dust uh, there's shower that's not installed yet there's plywood you know i my heart sank what yeah the yeah. hell like this is where we're supposed to be all day and all night where was what, what is this what is this yeah jp emergency we have a nightmare scenario yeah, what yeah. are we gonna do not that bad but i was like i did say like come on guys like you know how valuable it is to have like a safe place and a comfortable place. But there's place. like a, and when I've been met with that problem, I just try to find a nearby really nice hotel. Of course, I and, know. And, and I, I don't even mean to stay there. At the restaurant sometimes, if you go like, there'll be like yeah. meeting rooms downstairs. Oh yeah, I go right into the hotel. You go to the hotel, there's yeah. like a sort of- I like learned a, that years ago in college. I was in yeah. Dublin yeah. For, in college, we, I went over there and I had to go bad, and it was like drinking Guinness all night, and you know, it was one of those emergencies, not, you know, a Rangus. And, and that little temple bar area of Dublin, it's like 900 year old pubs with like yeah, just yeah. holes in the yeah, butt. Yeah. And I'm just like, what the, heck? I can't go to any of these bathrooms. Then I saw like a Radisson Inn, or something, you know, some kind of American hotel. Yeah. I went right in there, it was, oh, it was heaven. That's the place to go. But then a couple hours later, they, they felt terrible. They cleaned it all up to the best as they, they could. They had a working Wait, what, toilet. Did you make a scene though? They were very apologetic. I like did. I made. I I <laughs> expressed my concern to JP. I texted my uh, booking agent. I said, "Hey, just so you know, I f we feel a little like we, we should. If, I would have liked to have known. Like somebody should have said, "Hey, heads up, you guys are going to come into like a literal construction project, yeah, yeah, yeah. like in mid." You know, that that's all. Yeah. Sorry, I gotta be the bad guy sometimes. I mean, I'm not just beta just being like, oh, this is my life. I guess I'm just gonna yeah, suck. Yeah, yeah. Then clunked over the head yeah, with a hammer. Yeah, yeah. All right? I Somebody has to it. step up. Yeah. And, and for my crew! Yeah. And if you don't, we are at the halfway point, and uh, <sighs> let's take a little break. Okay. Speaking of uh, going to the bathroom, when we come back, we have a very fun surprise for Fred. Yeah. We have but... Fart Simpson. He's going to oh, yeah. do a mashup you're gonna game love that you're really going to enjoy. Well, it's, a, it's a fun music game that you'll, that you'll excel Remember that last game? I feel like Fart you played was... me these records. Yeah, I know. I played you like... <laughs> Wasn't Fart on like it last time? from 2002 no. or something. Maybe. Like, Maybe. I think you know, Fart that's... might have been <laughs> on it last time because we were playing that oh, game. That's right. Yeah. And we're going to give away some tickets to Tim's shows in New York, right? Yes. Figure tickets. Call in if you're in New York area. I'd say the tri-state area. And I got tickets every night of the week to give away. Beautiful. Two tickets. So if you can't go, just go. Give I wonder what the bathroom situation like is like at that place. At the Bell House. I remember it being pretty good. Or the the Bowel House. The Bell House. The, oh, it's not the Bowel House. Bowel <laughs> House. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in. It's got bowels on the brain. Three ahead, to five sure. minutes, and with more of this wonderful show. And I've been having a great time. Thank you very much.